Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! I did do some grinding off stream here to load things up a little bit. That's why I'm worried about maybe I'll borrow Samoa Joe Poncho. Hey, there you go. Get a little uh, cover up there. but All right, so I did do some grinding after we were done uh, stream last week. Uh, managed to get a bunch of stuff put together here. There is a couple things we are going to have to grab before we uh, move on to take on Ganondorf. But my goal is, if we don't actually reach Ganondorf, I want to be able to do the area prior to the going to Ganondorf, and then maybe we could load up again with some more meals and supplies. But let's get into this. So the one thing I do need to do before we go here, before we finish things up, I do have some... Uh, I got a few things I got to get rid of here. We got to uh, work on getting the bubble gems used. We got to work on. I got another heart we can get. And I'm one shrine away from actually getting another heart. So I think we'll find one more shrine before we go. So we'll add this on you. I love it, Jay Quick. I love it. You make sure that you get out there and enjoy yourself. So yeah, since we have three sh three uh, lights of blessing, we're definitely gonna go get one more. I'm like, dummy, he was like, yeah. It's the way it's supposed to go, isn't it? Okay, so now we got to go find Hess, too. I'm going to walk away. Well, let's go get our money cleaned up first here. I've, been, I've seen a few wells since then. Told him beat Logan Paul and he said he will. And if he sees me, we might get a pick. Hey, that works. So four of them, 10. It's all right. Some 40 more rupees. I like that. 42 to go. Hey, let my IJR. Good to see you here. What's your best Lionel killing weapon? Uh, that would require me to kill a Lionel so far, and I haven't done that yet. So let's not... I'll be honest, I avoid the Lionels like the plague for the most part. Nobody ever considered me the best player in the world for stuff, so... Nice to have been to a wrestling show with Gerald since 2001 before my dad was bedridden. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear about your dad, but at the same time, I'm glad that you're getting the opportunity to get out.
Did Hestu take off? Oh, he must be in the woods now. Since we saved the woods there, that makes sense. All right, so while we're here, we're going to go... So the one thing we got to do is take care of one shrine. So we can get one more heart out of this. Then we're going to have to go into Zelda's castle and get the uh, Hyrule shield. Because we didn't actually didn't get that before like we should have. I played this game very haphazardly compared to the way I should have. It's been a while, huh? I finally made it home to the Korok Forest. Of course, so the icky stuff flowing in the air was making the weird around here. And happy it's gone and everyone is better now. Shalakalaka. Do you have a Korok seed? Um, probably sh... I think it's shield. Yeah, I'll give him the 10 for that. I want to get my shields up because I want to get some rocket shields for when we're going to take on Ganondorf. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You guys didn't get the privilege of hearing all that. I forgot I left the volume off. There we go. Sorry about that, chat. So the weapon stash, you need eight. Okay, so both of those, they need eight. Thanks for being a crow. Yeah. We saw a big whirly circle. I saw an area with water. If it's really real, I want to see it myself. You have a picture would do. I will in a sec, I just... I hear the shrine, so we have to get one more shrine here in order to Oh, here we are. I had five already, so let's take care of that. Yeah. Ball is beating the end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I will offer you the light that banishes evil. All right, so. Let's just have a good weapon ready to go just in case here. All my weapons suck because I haven't upgraded anything. Oh, geez, that's it. All right. That's all we needed. All right, so now we're going to get an extra heart just for doing that. 
some of these shrines are just brainlessly easy. Some of them are... I do like these fetch quests for the fact that I usually have everything that we need already. So yeah, this is just going to be a straight Raru's Blessing, so these are the easiest shrines in the world. We will, f before we head out, we are going to fuse some stuff to the, uh, the swords and all that, just so we can get everything a lot more powerful and whatnot, so... Mighty Zonite Sword. Is there anything I can fuse that to right now to make it worthwhile? There we go. We'll just make it a little longer. We'll see how long that lasts. Let's go get our uh, blessing. We'll go visit the mage. We'll end up getting a nether heart. So I think we're up to 20 hearts at this point. And then, uh, I wouldn't mind upgrading my clothing a little bit, but you know, you ever get that feeling when you want to just, you know, finish things off and say we're done. I think that's pretty much where I'm at right now with this game. I, don't get me wrong. It's not a horrible game, but. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's what you guys are here for, all the music. Up to four. That's the thing we needed the most here. Just get it up to four and then we go from there. And it's funny, I wasn't even looking for a shrine and I just found one. That's always a great part about it. Because the other shrine I found was in a different area, but... Go away. Go away, Firebird! Give me your eyeballs, though. We'll just chop these trees down, thank you.
Drop the broad, sir. Get the moblin arm. At least it'll. S oh, wait a second. Let's get rid of this old hammer. Let's get a good hammer. There we go. Quit it, Reju. I don't know what you are, but I think it should take you out. Oh, it's a like like. All right, well, like likes are something I don't really need to deal with today. As much as I appreciate the Lost Woods. you already another one just happened there oh they little oh it won't let us go that way okay to go through the other way sure I'll just stamp it randomly there if I do remember there is a uh, statue over here though No, okay. Been a while, or should I go see how it's going over over there? Up ahead, there's a special place for the Maka. The forest is so wide open space. Right to the middle, there's a green square. Oh, there you go. This is that okay so basically they want us to go from the sky island to uh I have to admit it's rather ingenious the way they did this have we gone to that sky island yet
Can't put a pin there, you jerks. All right, well, you know what? Let's go up here anyway. There's another proving ground one that I didn't know about. We might actually be able to get a couple hearts before we uh, go on this attack here. Because if we're going to get two... If we're going to end up with two of these uh, shrines, we might as well go for four. Oh, God. Let's give it a try. Could be worse what could end up happening. And all he had was a regular stick as well, so... go your equipment has been returned to you it's just being a little smarter now about what's been going on right just saw at 6 p.m tonight we'll get a meet and greet with chelsea green nice very nice now chelsea's an absolute sweetheart i know that there's a lot of talk about what she does in uh
Oh, that gonna be fun. Bright elixir, okay. Just let you glow, glow underground. No, I, I, I really do hope that you get a chance to see everybody you can there. Like, and, and when it comes to WWE, for the most part, now is especially now with Triple H being there. Uh, low character guys are not going to succeed there, for the most part. There are some people there that you know. Their cultural impact is way more is way more in their favor than it is uh, than any setback to their personal character. I think that's the politest way I can put it. There's certain people who could be an absolute piece of garbage, but because they have the following that they do. You don't get that opportunity. All right, so we got one more. Let's see. Let's just, you know, if we're going to get this next one due to uh, dealing with the Koroks there, let's. Let's get that one. It's not going to hurt my feelings if we do this one one more stream. I will be looking for Sunday lines, though. Because those are going to be very valuable as we go forward. We're going to go buy all the uh, Sunday pumpkins that uh, Potato Village has. But yeah, earlier I was asked about... Uh, Who would I get? Stan Bulb. Let's, uh... Like, I, I know a lot of people are disappointed in the fact that I don't go for, uh... <laughs> Lights, batteries, and flame emitters. Guess that's the way to go. Oh, is this about that dive? See if I can do it one more time. If I can get it under 20, I get a piece of equipment, right? Just the way that the uh, they line up, it's almost RNG you got to worry about here, right? I want to try one more attempt at this. I know that we're not going to sit here forever trying to beat this, but...
Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I got glide. I got glide armor. What am I doing? Ugh. Okay, so I got another five rockets. That's actually something I need. Before we do this. We got glide pants, so skydive mobility's up a lot. Now let's see if we can uh let's see if we can do this. I think I got a shot at this. I just. Now this is going to annoy me. I got in there, but you're just trying to hit that little nip right on the side, right? We gotta do this again. We gotta do this again. I think you do need a second piece of armor, though, to do that, so. But I think that's what this test was for, so I don't know. There we go, new record, I like it. New record, didn't get the 20 seconds, but... All right, so another lot, okay, well. That was fun. Let's get back to work here. We were here looking for a shrine. Oh, there it is. Ninja shrine, so we're just a ninja getting here. Shrine in the middle of the uh, Korok forest. Always fun, right? So I did notice another shrine over on the far side. Maka special place complete, all right. I should also give us a Korok Cedar 5. So yeah, this one's another, just another street blessing. I 
I don't mind these because these can get frustrating if you're not knowing what to look for. I like a quick shot bow. All right, so now we're up to six. So pieces at a time, we are getting things put together here. I got a weird feeling for as much time as this is taking, we're not gonna get to Ganondorf today. I'm always paranoid about how I want to make sure I prep every last little thing. That's why I just, you know, open world games drive me nuts because I do try to 100% them as much as I can. We're at six, so that's good. So I don't think we're on the surface anymore. We're on an island. Either that or we're stuck in the middle of nowhere and, you know. Maybe we are still in the Korok Forest. Oh, what do you got to say, kid? <laughs> Even though you're not Korok. Wow, this is a special place that I, Maka, found. Maka likes coming here sometimes. Didn't think I'd find someone else here. Just thought I'd check just in case. Yeah, and the rest is just fog. I don't think they're going to let us out of here. Or maybe they have no choice but to let us out here. Looks like we'll be doing some warping to get out of here. Let's collect what we can here. That's the one we climbed before. Yeah, I think that's as far as they're going to let us go here, so. Hmm, where to go, where to go, where to go. I think uh, where we're going to go next. I have no idea why that pin's there. Oh, I know why that pin's there. That is for the hardest, uh, if we wanted to get the full gloom armor, which we really don't need to. What I think we're gonna do is head to the flight range next. Or you know what, let's go, let's go start the bulbo gem and see how far we can get with that. Where's the woodland stable? There it is.
So up here, we should be able to see uh, the two guys that are in charge of the bulbous, the bubble fruit, bubble fruit, whatever you want to call it. If I remember properly, I could be wrong. die yet but if we go up this path I think that we get to see Well, that randomly came out of nowhere. Oh, you poor son of a gun. See you help about. Okay, so that ain't gonna do it. Oh, I was here already, that's why. Ah, yeah, not important. I can keep trying that for days, it ain't gonna help. Oh, they're hiring finally, cool. Not quite what I was looking for here. I know that uh, we were looking for... Our two favorite camp goers here.
Oh, Jesus. I'm looking all over the place. They're right here. Kilted! You there, traveler. Have you been... Do you have any business in the cave by sense? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big Brother! The world... It's no use. Colton, please, it's impossible, even absurd. To try and turn yourself into a legendary creature, a Satori no less. Absurd. You should be working on monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like the. We'll never give up. I always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need is to get my fingers on a bubble gem. Then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. If the rumors are true, there's a creature in a cave called a bubble frog, and it glows like a Satori. But I didn't think it would be so high on the wall to run about nimbly like that. Well, I have, bu I have uh, bubble gems. You want to hear about my dream? Of course I do. Creature and Miss Satoria, high, high legendary creatures that have spotted all over Hyrule. Pierce the guys, blue white ish fur. Ooh, how I admire them since we. A wee Colton. But then I read the ancient text that they told me to transform myself, me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog. A strange creature that lives in dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bobble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased the bubble frog lurking in the cave, wanting to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble, or gamble around like that, so nimbly bimbly. Wish of my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get a hold of bubble gem, please give it to me. All right, well here, have one of my 500. That's a bubble gem? Is that the real thing? Perfect shape and the faint blue glow. <laughs> a real bubble gem, as real as it can be. I can transform like the other ones do. Thank you so much. Please take this gift in return. So I could wear that Bacoblin mask just to look like a Bacoblin. All right. Time to go down the bottoms up. That sounded horrible. It isn't changing, but I feel a strange sensation washing over me. So it's just like the... Uh... And that means more. I need more of them. And I just can't gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, so I had to set on a journey to collect bubble gems. Seems you made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. Ah, good old Colton. Hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Set on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time you get your figures on a bubble gem, please do not get... All right, so... The hunt for bubble gems is complete. Hope he's able to make his dreams come true. Huh. I'll be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Tarrytown and Akala. Mm. But do travel so much for helping my dear little brother, and I thought I hate to impose. I do impose during your travels. You find time to assist him further. Mm. I'll keep my ears open wide for my brother's whereabouts. Visit me in Tarrytown if you need help finding him. 
All right, so let's go in the cave and get that bubble gem here. Where my hammer? That was easy enough. So we're up to 12 now, so we'll have to go see him and... So little things I didn't realize when I looked at the map. You can actually look and see, check out your caves. And if your uh, cave has a check mark on it, then like you can see right on my uh, global map below me here on the video, there's a little check mark by the cave there. So that means I've gotten the bubble frog out of it. And since we did that, where he lines up actually. Do believe is out here. Set up his camp right in the middle of a field, so right in the center of the map, so you know you can go from anywhere to get it. It's a smart thing to do if you're going to be a salesman, right? Put yourself right in the middle of the uh, archipelagos. Can't remember if he's here or if he's at the other central Hyrule. Okay. Speed up elixir, okay. All right, fine. We'll go help the monster crew. I love how easily we get distracted off of stuff here. Hi. Link, hello. Last time we met at Hyrule Castle, if I remember right. I'm Haas, captain of the squad one of the monster control crew. After a search for Zelda Hyrule Castle, I return to my haunts. Oh. At the moment, we're closing in on Monster Stronghold. Wait for... Oh. All right, let's... Okay, what do we got here? Hey. Why are you guys going in so quickly?
Why am I playing around with this? You're both dead. You're both dead. Oh, you're the last ones left, huh? Let's go get some. Come get some. We got a lot of stuff to catch up. And victory is ours. Bravo, everyone. So grateful I did this. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Oh, God. Did you actually not even get off your horse? Real divine glow to it. Just like it makes me feel like there's some power welling up inside of me. Thank you so much for letting me see it. They forgot something very important. Made a hundred bucks out of that. That's cool. It's part of our bounty given to Monster Control Crew, so please don't hesitate to accept it. Plan to head southeast of Fort Hateno. Dun, da, da, da. Nice. All right, well, you guys peace out. <sighs> Do I get nothing for all this? Alright, so we clean this up. Now, where's that idiot? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, the exchange ruins! Just makes sense, you know, you go to the exchange ruins to do an exchange, right? So yeah, from here, we're still going to try and find two more. I think we might have to go to Terrytown and get a map, map of what we're doing. Yeah, like, what's going on with these stakes here? What are you trying to... Oh, there was a chest up there that I already got. Well, that used to be a well. I'll let it run out, then I gotta wait 10 full minutes, not a big deal.
All right, let's see here. We... I saw that little question mark. Go take care of this fiend out here. Then we can fuse something else and <laughs> Alright, well you know what? I could play around with this all day, but I think Terrytown's where we gotta head next here. There it is. Let's go see where our old friend is. I thought he was right up here. I thought he was right in Hyrule. I might have just missed the spot. Get past all the protection and everything and just get right into town. You owe me the 20 bucks. <laughs> Need save it. Hey, Frosty, how you doing? Thank you for giving me information on that. No. Knew we were going to get something out of it. Last time I was here, he just sold it to me. How you doing today, Frosty? Just chilling out today, as always? I appreciate the lurk at work. I don't know whether I'm actually going to hit up Ganondorf today or not. Oops. How am I liking Tears of the Kingdom versus Breath of the Wild? They both have their positives. They both have their negatives. Mm -hmm. 
I, I will say the, like right now we should be, realistically we should be on Ganon right now. Balance his weight off a little bit better. There we go, that's what I needed. But, uh, it, it's hard to compare the two, to be perfectly honest. There's so many differences between them. I'm guessing this is the first time we're supposed to use this, technically. Where's my little Zonai charges? Should have a ton of them here. But I... My personal feelings, like if I had to... Yep, that's what those things are. I... Showing up at our place, Kakariga Village, nuclear south to here as one. There's a, another one southwest too, a dig... Dig Dog Bridge near the entrance to Gerudo Ridge. Uh, yep. Ah. Uh. Award you for the big disco. Hey, that's actually a big thing for me. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. All right, let's finish this quest. Thank you. All right, so... We basically have to get a boat together or we have to take this thing down. My personal feelings on this, I, I would like to see if this was going to be linear to have this game be a lot more linear. That's where I got to get it to.
Do I have anything in auto build I can use right now? What I'll do is I'll actually go in and drop this out of my... Inventory. Do I have a hoverboard? The cart? Guess not. Nope. You stay there, I'll be right back. Uh, I, I would like to see this be a little bit more linear, this game. It's not crazy to figure out how to do this, it's just, it gets annoying. Oh good, my Master Sword power is back. It's one thing I do like about it, is the fact that, you know, you only get to use it for X amount of time. But at the same time, it's not going to kill you for the amount of time that it's allowing you to use it. Like, don't get me wrong, puzzles like this are actually pretty fun, for the most part.
but at the same time, it's almost, uh, I don't know. It, to me, it just, it seems like too much petty work to do. There we go. Like, how many Raru's blessings are we gonna get in this game? Like, I get, I get it. It's a mission. You gotta do it. You gotta do it to get to get to this. But I have avoided most of these as we've uh, been getting closer to this end, as we were going through the story. But now that we're getting to the end, and I have to, basically, I have to upgrade myself more than anything. That's the thing that frustrates me. If you, if you can manage to get through the story with what you have, and you're going to have that difficulty spike right at the end for Gandorf, that just doesn't seem right for me. Like, after I beat Minoru, or after I uh, beat the boxer to get Minoru here, I should have been powered up enough to sufficiently take out Ganondorf, but everything that I've read says that I'm not. That I'm going to need more... I need to upgrade my weapons. I need to upgrade my shields. I need to... I need more hearts. Which, don't get me wrong, we could do it. It's just going to take longer, and I'm just... I'm not the biggest fan in the world of taking longer to finish stuff. So there, now we're up to seven again. So if we can get one more, then we just get two more hearts and we're done with it, right? I, like we're, I think we're at 19 right now. The number of people we've actually faced is rather minimal. The one thing I would like to go back and get is a Swallows Bowl before we start. So we have a, a triple, a triple shot bow available. Okay, so we're up to seven now. We just got to find one more random shrine and then we'll be able to get two more hearts out of this. I'm not really worried about the stamina a whole lot. We got two full rings. Like everything is created towards the final battle against Ganondorf, right? I, I know a lot of people want to complete this and there's a lot of extra rigmarole you could do. All right, so let's maybe let's go for an up trip here. But to do that, we're gonna have. To, well, we got the we got the shirt on. Okay, we're good. Mighty carp. Oh, goody.
Well, we don't have to deal with her now. See what's over here on this one aisle. One big tree in the middle always makes me wonder. Oh, we're literally in Zora's domain right now, so. Okay, so we've done the Terry Town. Got a whole bunch of stuff except, you know, a couple things that we wanted. So the one thing I do once in a while is I actually go down and look to see where. Okay, so we missed. Uh... We missed the shrine over here. And it's technically the last place where I died. Oh, this was the shrine that was underground. That's right. And it's underneath a river, too, so. Yeah, this is what I took care of off stream here. Stupid Octoroks. I'll take a ruby. So we are literally underneath a lake, so... Let's see where we get out of this. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, the like likes. Piece of junk. Are we gonna play this game all day?
So the only problem we got up here is we're going to have to face uh, a Bokoblin, which really doesn't make me feel too bad about it. But it is telling us we got another shrine coming, so... We got our master sword back. Let's use her. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a little bit more than I thought it would be. I got a feeling these gloom recipes aren't going to be as needed as I think they are. So. Oh, we are definitely picking this up. It's only a 23, but it'll definitely do for what we need. I always love following the meter. I remember this is the one area that I didn't I actually didn't deal with in uh, Breath of the Wild right until the end. Just play to hunch here, chat. Well, that lasted long. be the shrine so it looks like we got to drag something over there told you there's a reason we're over here There's a cave.
Once we get past this cave. Well, this is all literally behind the waterfall. Okay. Ah, here we are. I could use my hammer, but I have my own hammer. You know, but where you go? I think we found something here, chat. I literally think we have to go down to go up kind of thing here. Oh, shit. Never mind. Where are you? Excellent. Do I really need to know what's in those caves? Oh, it's electrical, whatever it is. Ah. Rusty shield, you can go away. I will take a mighty zonite shield with me. So I got a feeling that's a uh, Zonite guy. You know, Bo, where'd you go?
Then we'll grab this rocket too, because we can get a little extra lift out of it. Get our little contraption going here. Just for the lulls, I want to see what's in here. Before I do that... Get out of the shield, or get out of the outfit that will... Oh, it's a like like that's why I'm having so many problems. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, get out, get out, get out. No, we don't need to deal with a like like that is, uh... That's just not a good situation to sit in water and try to deal with a like lake that's probably going to want to take our head off here. Okay, we got this now. Oops. A little drop of the water never hurt anybody, right? Ogim Shrine. And the reason that you can find these really easily is the fact that the depths... There's a light root in the depths to match up with every every uh, shrine up top. The only difference is you might have they might be here, they might be at the top, like up in the skies. So yeah, we'll get another Rauru's blessing here. We're up to eight. I walk in there with a little cobbling head that's always great. We've actually done a lot of little mission giving here and I I, re I really think we might actually take another week or two and just uh Clean up some of these side quests, see if we can get up as low as we can. We got a bunch of stuff still in the depths to do. I 
If I can find a few more shrines to get us up to even 30 hearts at this point. We're I think we're at 22 right now. I, I'm not taking forever on this because I, I will still say this. This has been taking way too long to finish overall. I, I really do feel that. My personal opinion, if, if you want to improve this game and you want to get it exciting for people, have the little piece of the depths where you go to the, uh, sorry, to go to Yenobo's, uh, the fire temple. Have that little piece available for the depths. The rest of the depths, leave it as DLC for later. You could have just put, you could have just had that story all as a, all on its own, right? To take on the Yiga clan and all that and could have if you if this is gonna be the end of this story on this timeline, you could have made it that they were working together, so hey Crowder, back from lunch. Uh, good to hear. Uh grind's going okay. We're we're doing a lot of shrines today. I I was gonna go for Ganondorf, but right now it just feels good that we're just Adding to everything right now. Like our shrine total is going up like crazy here. Oh, we were... That's right. We were going to Terrytown to... Uh, I went I went to Terrytown to do something and I completely lost track. Never fails. So, one thing we did do is we started the Bubble Gem quest. Where he's going to give us stuff for all the bubble gems we got. I want to see if he can give us some stuff that'll help upgrade our outfits a little bit. There are some easy armors that I haven't picked up that I need to. But as soon as we got to Terrytown, uh, I found the uh, crystal and they started up the quest of uh, finding this, the shrine for it. And I just went for it. And I'm like, wait a second. I'm, I was here on a mission earlier. So yeah, we'll still get a couple more hours in. It's just going to be more... Monster extract, dazzle fruit, bomb flowers. So this guy here, if you want to keep something that uh, was fused together and you want to put it on something else, he will do it for 20 bucks. Right now, I don't want to do that. I want to find Kilton. Time for uh oh. Working on dream homes, construction, supporting our simple our dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic, a kitchen, a fully furnished room. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice display to your pictures. <laughs> Individual rooms on their own. You pick the rooms you want, then you always put them together the way imagined. There's a real core service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting down a path of home ownership. You know, or the whole family's in, is in your debt to help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, set you up with a di discount. Ma. All right, so we need 1,500 rupees to do that.
Okay, we don't need to worry about you anymore. Hey, doggos, I'll talk to you in a bit. Ah, there he is. trying to say is a pacabo's most disgusting feature is his nose which you'll find squished upon his face like a gloof <laughs> tears on the other hand they're quite floofy and it's horns are zwift mm. <laughs> why hello to you what a coincidence i see you in a place like this thanks for your help with my little brother the other day he's faring well thanks to you look over there mm. he's in there now but when the sun goes down you find his charming multicolored stall upon that hill. He's working to make his dreams some. Huh. Goods for monster parts, travel selling, shopping against. Real dream all along. In fact, every moment I'm discussing presents a very dream. Back working on these dream homes. Forget. Start tight. Make me monsters. Oh God! How about this picture? I don't have a picture of a coblin. What are you? Hey. All right. Well, one thing I want to do is put a pin there. Now we're going to go sit till night. We need to go tonight so we can uh, go talk to our boobla trainer. There he is. KJ, we're, we were going to be fighting for Ganondorf, but we just started grinding and all of a sudden, yeah, everything's coming up Millhouse for a lot of our grind stuff here. So we're literally just coming up here in, uh, got a whole bunch of shrines done, trying to get a whole bunch of parts, trying to upgrade. It's one of my biggest complaints when it comes to the Legend games, the Zelda, the Zelda open world games. It's sort of the same problem I had with the Transformers game when it came out. When we were playing it on stream here. I'll do all these extra things and I get all these tasks done during the game, which are fine. But then you have to sit and grind forever. Oh, another shrine coming up. We'll get to you in a minute, but I want to get this first. You have to grind so much to get your hearts up, your... I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to the side things, but if you're going to do the main missions, you should be able to get yourself to 100% power by the time you're doing your second last mission. Ah. 
Must have more. Since you part, I've been traveling far and wide. Still haven't gathered a single booble gem. He wants to become a Satori of all things. So let's see here. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take it. I'll give you the two. You have to give them to him in this order. That's just gas, you moron. So now I got a moblin mask so I can look like a moblin. Since the ball, oh, not all of them. From when I can, you put feelers in places, feel likely proud. Of course, you're happy that. Let's trade some more. <laughs> See, the camera just pudged up there for a second. Mysterious p, -p, -p power! The three Hinox toenails. We get our first robe. I like this. So we go through the same song and dance, but this one's actually really cool. So this one here, rather than you losing hearts, you lose rupees. Eight for three, okay. He's slowly changing, but oh, I love this fire keys balls. So how much of this game have I gone through? Well, let's put it this way. Story wise, I'm already at the boss. Like, really, our main quest line, the next thing up for me is the, uh, so let's, before I forget, let's go into this map here. Let's put a stamp right there so we know where we're going here. <laughs> 